Hello everyone, welcome back to The Ascent. In this one we continue to get on on the next part of the main mission. I think the next mission is called Empowerment. I think that's what I said towards the end of the last one. Uh, da, 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 there we go. Empowerment. Yeah, so we just got to go talk to Poon again. Po, po own. I don't know how you pronounce his name. Pretty weird name, but we just got to go talk to this bloke again. Speak with that stack boss, Poon. And yeah, continue on. Let's go. So, here's the deal. The AGI is still quiet. Amazing as that is. Rival CGTs are already coming into the Arcology to pick the bones clean. We have a chance of true independence here, but we have to act faster than an amped out feral before some enterprising CGT gobbles up our cluster and our in dead contracts with it. One of the bulb heads you rescued from Malhor's Gelb claims we can funnel energy covertly from the old Takamak down in the deep stink. He says we have a small window of opportunity to do this now before the reactor is appropriated by some other corporation. I'd rather control the entire Takamak, but we have nowhere near the know-how or equipment to do a property grab like that. You need an AGI for that kind of thing. But if you do this right, the new owners won't notice our little arrangement. I'm not fluent in tech blab, but enough to say that this will be a tricky feral to tame. The bulbhead spoke of installing a double redundancy board through the Takamak ice. Soft and hardware. So, you'll have to do this on site. The new owners can't know about the board, or they'll shut it down faster than nug orgasms. We can then use that energy to bolster our automated security systems. I already have a code jockey reworking the schemata to allow for that. And let the CGTs come. When the turrets are done, we'll scavenge their stiffs for orgs. Now the ball bed is just that, completely worthless for anything outside a lab. I want you to handle the practical side of things. Get that Takamak working for us. I've uploaded the particulars to your end. Questions? All right. Good. Let's get it done. I mean, as usual, ton of questions, but I think the the main idea of the mission is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. They're always relatively similar. Find someone and either kill or extract or take something, and then we're done. So let's do it. Go to the reactor facilities. Go this way, 300 meters. Okay, we could probably walk there for now. If we want, if we just want to take a, a taxi. Nah, probably not a good idea right now, because we haven't actually been to that area yet. Pretty sure we've been down here, though. Oh, true. We could try our new shotgun now. Oh, these guys are like level 2 and 3. Okay, so it's not really good. It's not a very accurate representation of how this gun performs then, is it? Everyone's actually so weak here. Alright. We'll just run through this area then. Oh, look at this. That is a sight, isn't it? Definitely gives that cyberpunk, cyberpunk feeling. Pretty cool. Alright, here we go. Deep sink. Well, the view has changed a little bit now. Look at this. It's sort of hard to see anyone coming from in front now. Strange. We're doing a ton of damage now, though. All right, cool. Can just go straight through here. Easy peasy. So what does it say? Level 8? Huh. I guess it makes sense that we're level 11 now, so it, it shouldn't be too hard. But I can't believe three levels makes things so much easier. Oh, 
Oh man, okay, we might get overrun here though. Let's try out our new shotgun actually. Oh my god. Okay, I take back what I said. At least I don't infinitely respawn, so that's a plus. Just farmed a little bit of experience there, nice. But if we just run all the way through here, we're gonna collect so many of these, all of these bad, all of these enemies. There we go, funnel them, funnel them into a corner, into a portal. That's the way to do it. Oh, we got some stuff over here. Look at this. I'd save that to the end, though. There we go, mate. So if you can go grab that for me. I'll get it myself. Get a chest over here. Okay, we've got a few more enemies up here. I really don't mind going up against these little dudes though. They're so easy to take down. Gotta try and remember what these little crates look like, because running through them and just picking a, a few extra U creds up, it's pretty nice. Level 12? Nice, mate. Farming this experience. Looking good. Got a few chests over here. Where did my little buddy go? Oh, there he is. The robot got lost. Oh, I don't think I'm going the right way anymore, actually. Gonna have to backtrack a little bit here. Oh, it says I can go across here, though. Oh, here we go. It's like a, a bridge here. And grab this while we're here. Thank you. way down here. Okay, before we start moving our way down, we might just invest in these skill points that we just picked up. We got another three. So go for a little bit more health. We got two more in health and a few more in, in crit. And we should be sweet. So it looks like maxing out health puts you at three bars. That's what it seems like. Let's grab a little bit more U-Cred. All right, cool. It almost seems like the U cred you get from these little crates, though, is pretty. I don't know. It doesn't really make much of a difference because it's so minuscule compared compared to the amount of credit you get for selling different items. Alright, it seems like we're still going the right way. Boost cooling systems. Okay. Let's 
sounds easy enough. 170 meters. Oh wow, look how many people are on the, how many enemies are on the minimap. <laughs> Could actually just farm experience here. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. We're well on our way to level 13 now. Collect those individually? Really? Thought he'd just be able to run over them all. That's all right. Oh wow, this guy's a, a little bit beefier. Oh man, but sometimes... What, what is that? I'm so confused. Sometimes that does so much damage. And sometimes it doesn't do that much damage at all. Uh, this IO converter. Sometimes this thing is so incredibly good. Digital damage only. I guess digital damage only mean it's good against, um, like, robotic type of enemies. Mechanical robotic type of... Uh, yeah, that's probably what it is. Because I probably don't do that much energy, uh, that much damage when I come up against humans. Like these type of people. It probably does so much against these type of... These type of things. Alright, ready? We'll try that one more time. Oh yeah, here we go. Look at this. So nice. I have to take a little bit of cover here. It does a solid amount of damage when you get up close, but from a distance, it's not that very effective at all. But I guess, you know, that's what a shotgun is, right? I guess it's doing its job perfectly fine. Okay, I also do really like that the, this shotgun has a few more bullets in it, eight bullets. Makes a big difference. There we go. Oh man, a little bit of health regen would be really good right about now. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, that didn't actually take me to full health? Really? Bloody hell, okay. I must have lost a lot of health in that last area. Hang on, I just want to double check, is that augmentation based off time, or the amount of bullets I have? 25 second cooldown, consumption. I think it's based on a certain amount of time. So it doesn't matter if I reload or anything? Yeah. Another chest over here, nice. Take it. Override a distribution hub. Okay. 
halfway to level 13 now. So that is good. We'll soon be able to max out our health. Oh man, we get the smash though. Taking too much damage here. This is a problem. Alright, we're good, we're good. 41 meters. Shoot from a little bit of range. Up a little bit of health. Oh man, this is getting so sketchy though. Alright, we got our. Whoa! Oh no! I thought I was crouching. Damn. That actually hit me there. Oh, I don't know why I thought that wasn't going to get me. Wait, what is that checkpoint? Is that... Oh, I don't think that was a very good checkpoint, was it? That's right, at least we can farm up these bots again. Yeah, damn, I, think, I don't think that checkpoint was really good at all. It's okay, it's decent. It didn't set us back too far, but... Man, okay. We gotta be, pay a little bit more attention, I think, now. Yeah? The game's getting pretty difficult. Alright, there we go. Now they're running back. Back off a bit. Alright, there we go. Decent. Alright, getting a little bit further than we did last time. Well, not further, but we've got a lot more health than we did last time. At this exact same spot. I almost feel like that ability is necessary to take out all the robots here. I don't know how you could have enough damage to take them out if you don't use that ability, that IO ability. Is that the mission? That would be pretty sweet. Oh here. That some power surge you just sent out way made me tingle all over. The security systems are online working for us. Excellent job. Now cover the whole thing up and get back here so we can celebrate. Remember, any new owners cannot know about this. Ready to install mod pack. 
Can seal the drain from the Tokamak SI. Okay. 130 meters, okay, so the mission is still going. But we're in a pretty decent spot now. We got a solid amount of solid amount of health. There we go. So we should pretty much be there. There we go. Oh no, it's gonna be a boss, I think. Oh no, this thing is gonna be an absolute monster. I'm going to have to time my damage with that ability. Because if I don't, I think I'm gonna have an, a hard time doing enough damage to this thing. I can't let those little spiders get to me, because I think they're like homing missiles, like little explosives. Right, here we go. We've got the, got the ability again. Tell you what though, this is not easy. Oh, you're kidding! Oh, I've nearly got my rejuvenation thing up though, and as soon as I get that, I'm going to have a lot easier time. Oh no! Okay, but that's definitely how you got to do it. you got to try and like take it slow, and just keep damaging the little spiders. And as you damage the spiders, it'll get up this rejuvenation skill that we got. And that should then, in turn, hopefully be enough. If I can just draw the fight out long enough. The problem is once you get to one side, the spot is just they're pretty speedy. It's hard to get away from them. Alright, this one's going pretty good so far. Managed to keep pretty good distance from him. Looking good. Yeah, from the top side of the screen, it's sort of a little bit difficult to aim. Oh, run, 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 run. Oh, come on, I'm doing so much damage. Yes, we did it. We don't want to disintegrate you just yet. Were you trying to create a supernova just now? Because that's what your uninformed meddling with the Taurus containment field would have led to. That your stack boss asked you to do this only confirms his incompetence. Luckily, we are in control now. This tokamak is now the property of Y Corp. So is your stack cluster, and so is every indent registered there, including yourself. Your indentured contracts have been transferred and renewed in accordance with existing agreements and standard protocol, etc., etc. In short, you belong to us for what remains of your pitiful life expectancy. However, while you have demonstrated an alarming lack of cognitive skills, you have also shown an aptitude for applying lethal solutions to conflicted situations. This might be of some use to Y Corp. So, we wish to test your abilities by giving you a special assignment. A trial of sorts. Success will raise you above the filthy mass of regular indents and provide you with certain perks. And you'll be given a chance at earning your freedom. 
We will set up an operations center in Cluster 13. Come find us there. Oh, what? Okay. So just like that, we, we changed boss? Like, we don't have the same boss anymore? Interesting. Solid amount of e creds, 700 and something. Okay, cool. So level up and chapter has been completed. So now we can invest the rest of our points into critical hit chance. Seems pretty bloody good. Awesome. There's something, something in here as well that we might be able to pick up. Spider bots. Oh, nice. Is that going to be like a different type of augmentation? It's not a module, so we still can't use modules, but it's like something like this. So instead of having that guy that loots everything, we could get spider bots instead. That might be pretty good. Deploys multiple explosive spider bots with seek out targets. An offensive weapon platform dispensing multiple kamikaze spiders. Yeah, okay. So pretty obvious what that is. We just came up against like so many of them. That's cool. Okay, so the uh, that little loot bot that was running around, he was sort of helping us out every now and then when he gets health and stuff. But it wasn't very offensive, and I think as we progress through this game, it's going to become a little bit harder, and I think we're just relying on, and our, on our assault rifle and regular weapons uh, might be getting a little bit, a little bit too hard for that, so it'll be a little bit of extra spider bots and things like that, that'd be nice. So we can actually use them now. Hang on, if we want to teleport all the way back, let's just use these spider bots, I just want to see how they work can find some enemies here. And then I think I'm just going to take the taxi back. If we can actually find some enemies somewhere. Here we go. Oh wow, you get you get a fair few of them, don't you? Look at that. Oh my god, there's so many enemies here now. What's going on? But yeah, you actually get a lot of them. That is really nice. Okay, they're waiting for us. Okay, cool. So yeah, we're gonna eventually have to continue on to the next mission here, 800 meters away. Uh, but for now, I just want to see if those bots are scaled by our by our cybernetics. I think it would be. So I think the amount of bots you get would be based on your cybernetic level. So hang on, augmentation spider bots. Yeah, here's down the bottom. It says affect cybernetics, affect cybernetics. So investing in these two type of skills will affect the specific augmentations that we get. So, because we've invested so much into critical hit chance, and that's a type of augmentation, uh, sorry, that's a type of cybernetic, I think that ups the amount of spider bots we'll get when we use this ability, which is really nice. Unfortunately, this IO converter is orange. Which one was orange again? Hang on. Orange is biometrics. Oh, wow, that's actually really lucky. So, the orange and the green augmentations are the exact ones that we're using, and that's also the exact attributes that we've invested into. So, I think we're we're pretty lucky on that front, but that's just something to keep in mind. I think this is where we're going to end it, guys. We're going to continue on uh, with Speak to Kara in the next episode. I'm just probably just going to teleport there and start it up uh, in front of Kara in the next episode. So thank you guys very much for tagging along. Hope you guys are enjoying the series, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good day.